Hey folks, Prof JP here. For Future Minds, I am a professor of cognitive neuroscience. What the hell does that mean? It means neuroscience and psychology put together. We do neuroscience in humans at the University of New South Wales in sunny Sydney, Australia. So I wanted to just drop a note today about deep fakes. We've all heard about deep fakes coming. You've probably seen a bunch, the Pope coat, that kind of thing. And where things are going at the moment is people are focusing on deep fakes as a cyber security problem, right? People are building AIs to detect the deep fakes, which is all good, but it leaves out a crucial thing that what we know from false information from deep fakes is there's something called the continued influence effect. When we hear something or see something that is not true, that stays with us for long after we're told that it's not true. What do I mean by that? So if you jump online and you see your favorite politician saying something outrageous, something upsetting, something hurtful, that basically changes your long-term memory of that person. And simply labeling that video as fake, as a deep fake, or someone telling you, hey, that's not, that's not a real thing, that's total bullshit. That doesn't wipe your memory. In other words, your opinion of that person stays changed, maybe not forever, but for a long time. It takes a lot of work to undo that. In other words, that negativity you saw in the video becomes attached to your idea of that person and your mental model of them. So this means that deep fakes are not a cybersecurity problem. They're more a psychological problem. So we have to work on this in the, from psychology, from neuroscience, to try and figure out how we can undo these effects. Sometimes they're subtle, sometimes they're very strong. But again, simply labeling things online, as a lot of platforms are now doing, doesn't undo this effect. So we have to be wary of this. We not only have to spot it, we have to figure out how to undo these effects. And we can undo them a bit. There's a bit of research on this. Again, it's mostly from written text because the research with the video deep fakes is still happening. It's still going on right now. What do we need to do? Basically, we need to rejig our mental model of the person or the thing in the video, right? So the video changes your mental model of the thing. Long term, you need to go back in there and rejig that. So deep fakes are becoming a huge problem. And there's, there's the, so far, about 96% of deep fakes are non-consensual pornography, right? That's taking existing porn and someone's face and bring that together. It's embarrassing, it's upsetting, it can be really horrible, right? We're seeing subtle deep fakes, political deep fakes coming online now as well. They're much harder to spot. We need to throw our resources into this, understand what goes on with deep fakes. How does it change our long-term memory? Interestingly, when you have a bad dream, if you dream about your partner, your husband or wife cheating, right? Luckily, we forget those dreams pretty quickly. They'll stick with us. Maybe when we wake up, we have a bad feeling, then whoosh, that memory's gone. In other words, our long-term memory for dreams doesn't stay. They go. So we don't have this problem with dreams, but we do tend to have it with deep fakes. Telling someone to deep fake doesn't erase the damage it does to your opinion about that person. So keep that in mind when you're looking online, if you're looking at videos on any of the platforms, TikTok, Instagram, etc. What you're seeing may not be true and it may change your brain in ways that may stay that way for a long time. All right, folks, so that's deep fakes. It's a psychological problem, not a cybersecurity problem. Keep an eye out for them and I'll see you soon here at Future Minds.